good afternoon, Hotline. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Good, Councilman Bob from Lorraine. How we doing? Oh, not too bad. Um, see where Ken Lovett left the post there and went to the New York Daily News? Ken Lovett, former Watertown Daily Times correspondent, yes. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a surprise, but hopefully a promotion for him. Well, yeah, he's over there with Liz Benjamin and that crowd now. You yeah. Can't, you can't be hanging with better people than Liz. Well, she's been writing a lot about up here lately. You know, if you don't follow Liz Benjamin's uh, blogs and, and articles, you don't know what's happening up here. And I'm not saying that as some kind of slam at the local yokels, but, um, uh, you, you know, you, this 23rd Congressional District race, you're getting a lot out of there. Yep. I don't like this, uh, you know, I don't know whether the strategy of the Republicans is good by coming out and trying to go after Bill Owens, because I think they're giving him name recognition he didn't have before. Yeah. Um, and that's the danger in what they're doing. But I see, I don't think, you know, these people who say, oh, it's going negative when you criticize them as being a tool of Nancy Pelosi, that's what you are when you're in that caucus. And I don't think it's bad to raise that as an issue, because I think that's probably, that and geography are the two primary issues to vote for Skozafava, in my book. She's from here, and she's not in Nancy's flock. Yeah, but I, I think they've got to be worried if they start out that way. Well, I think they, you know, this uh, Bill Owens is, uh, has an impressive-looking commercial on where he's on the flight line at the former Plattsburgh Air Force Base. He looks good in that. I mean, he... I saw that. Yeah, I, I, I can't knock that. And if, if, you know, if they come in and run the, the the same campaign they did for the Barkley lad, I think they may be in trouble. Yeah. I mean, they took that race, which was a sure win for the Republicans, and they, they pretty much handed it. I mean, not that Albertine didn't do some good things and spent some money and all that, but they basically handed that seat away. Well, her uh, her spokesman is, I mean, he's bad. His last name is Burns. Uh, but he, he's uh, been out, he uh, made a statement about two weeks ago, you can't trust Doug Hoffman, you know, and, uh, and now this slam against... Uh, um, yeah, well, that, that's not a nice... Oh, you know, but, uh, when, you're, when you're saying things like that, they can come back to bite you because when you're... In this case, Mr. Hoffman's, a, I think, a CPA for a living. To, you know, to say you can't trust someone who's in that line of work uh, really cuts to the bone quite a bit and invites reciprocal comparisons. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to go in certain directions. You know, the, the main reason I called, though, was uh, I saw on TV this morning, and then I pulled it up on the Denver Post, uh, the Obama administration, the uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, on Monday, they sent a notice to all companies that sell private Medicare coverage, standalone drug plans to seniors. It told them immediately discontinue mailings to beneficiaries and remove any related materials directed to Medicare enrollees mm -hmm. websites. And this is about this is about they're, they, these insurers are sending people information on what's included in this bill, like you know cutting the uh, half a billion of Medicare and, and getting rid of Medicare Advantage and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, they, I mean, where where is the First Amendment and all of this kind of stuff? Uh, that they can go and they tell these companies you can't do this. You know? I mean, it, it's like the yeah, uh, it's, uh, finance... Uh, it's Obama, yeah. ...campaign finance bill that uh, passed with... Uh, yeah. You know, a couple of three years ago or four years ago. I, Listen, you just got to, don't worry about it, Bob. You just look at it and say, <laughs> the country we grew up in is not oh, there anymore. Yes, the thing is that, I mean, they get away with all this stuff, all of it. I mean, the mainstream media uh, won't even report a story like this, that they basically uh, put a gag order on all these insurance companies. Yeah, well, the mainstream media is... Uh, what can you say? I mean, they are what they are these days. So I feel better, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.